Are you ready? Because we're going five pounds down every four weeks in 2022, and today is a walk with weights. Grab your lightest dumbbells and let's go. All right, beautiful bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. Have your dumbbells completely out of the way and let's get started with some arm circles with high knees. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. Do you know what feels like self-love? I sure do. It's losing weight with the 5-0 method where every single day we do five things that make you say, oh, I have no idea that I could lose weight so fun and so easily at this age. You guys, every single day, we're going to eat the right number of calories, which is not necessarily less than you were eating before. We're going to drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds in fluid ounces of water. We're going to get the right amount of sleep by going to bed at the same time every night, waking up at the same time every morning, and not worrying too much about how much in between that was actually sleep. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. We are exercising moderately every single day, ah, which is not necessarily more than you were doing before. And most importantly of all, we are managing our minds by finding our thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. And I have a very helpful thought for you today. It is, I can change. Now, like most of our helpful thoughts, I'm gonna explain this one to you. Hi, Blossom. Well, hello, sweetheart. You're gonna come join us? Thank you, I was wondering. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to Blossom's home. Welcome to Blossom's home. She slept in this morning so late. She does not go to the bed at the same time every night and get up at the same time every morning. The older she gets, the more she just sleeps later and later and later. I literally woke her up to eat breakfast. <laughs> anyway, I can change. And let me actually tell you really quickly about our, our workout. We are doing step stools today. We are walking with weights, our lightest weights. If you would like to walk weight free, please do. My friends, always make the workout work for you. A step stool means that we're gonna start with one exercise, then we're gonna rest, then we're gonna start with that same exercise plus another exercise before we rest and then we're gonna have that exercise the second exercise and a third exercise before we rest interval is set for 20 seconds it sounds like plenty of rest and it kind of is but also it's kind of a lot of work <laughs> let's go ahead and grab those dumbbells and get going with some triceps curl downs and here we go T curling down your triceps tapping out with that other foot this is our first interval which means that when it beeps again we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest my friends the thing about our helpful thought I want you to know that if it doesn't feel helpful right away, if it doesn't feel good right away, that means that it's not helpful. This is how you know the difference between a helpful thought. Here's 20 seconds of rest. When it beeps again, we're doing those triceps curl downs again, and we're adding on can-cans. Yes, I chose that on purpose because I can-can change. <laughs> The thing about a helpful thought is that it feels good. It's actually that simple. And I know that sounds so funny. Here we go with those triceps curl downs. And then when it beeps, we're gonna do the can-cans. It's a knee and a kick on one side, plus a knee and a kick on the other. The thing about helpful is that it helps you get where you wanna go. And the reason you would get where you wanna go is here we go with a knee and a kick and a knee and a kick. I do a little bit of a reach too. If you don't want to, you certainly don't have to. You can, <laughs> you can change the exercise. You can make it anything you want. When it beeps again, we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest. The thing about, the thing about us as people, here's 20 seconds of rest. When it beeps again, we're doing those triceps curl downs for the third and final time, plus the can-cans, plus shooting stars, which means that we're leaning to one side and tipping our foot out the other way. The thing about us as human beings, Janet Jackson sang a song about this a long time ago called The Pleasure Principle, and it really does inform everything that we do. We are always seeking pleasure and avoiding pain. And so therefore, when we have a thought that feels bad, that feels painful, we are not going to move towards that thing. When it beeps again, of course, we're doing those can-cans. So when we have a helpful thought, here we go with the can-cans. When we have a helpful thought, it is moving us forward because the helpful feeling is pleasurable in some way. So that's why I have you check in with your feelings. I know lots of us would be like, oh, but my feelings, I mean, they're just feelings. <laughs> that has nothing to do with where I'm going in life. Here we go with shooting stars, tipping out to one side. I've got my disco fingers going on this. <laughs> 
I can feel it because this is this is a combination of disco dancers and star balance. <laughs> <laughs> when it beeps again, we are getting 20 seconds of rest, and this is the end of our first step stool. Whoo, doggies. You see what I mean? Feels like plenty of, or sounds like plenty of rest. Feels like plenty of work. When it beeps again, we're gonna do push, push. I'm gonna scoot over here just a little bit. We're just gonna push to the side, push to the side, then push back to the other side. So the thought I can change. I'm curious what your initial reaction to it is, because for me personally, here we go with push, push. Excellent job. When I think about changing, sometimes I think about changing kind of against my will or because somebody wants me to change or because I think I have to change. None of those sound good to me. None of those sound pleasurable to me. Here's 20 seconds of rest. When it beeps again, we're going to do that push, push, and we're going to add on ding-dongs where we swing from side to side, kicking out one foot at a time. The thing about changing is that sometimes the reason why it feels like pressure or it feels scary or it feels like too much or it feels like something that we don't want to do, here we go with push, push, and push, and push, is because deep down we kind of think, I kind of think, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna make this universal, I'm gonna tell you about me. Me personally, I frequently used to think that I simply couldn't change, that it just kind of wasn't in the cards for me, that every time I tried, here we go with ding dong, that every time I had tried, I had failed, I'd had such a hard time. I just, I kind of felt like I wasn't capable of changing. And that's why for me personally, this thought I can change, it gives me all the power to decide if I actually want to. Here's 20 seconds of rest. Okay, when it beeps again, we're doing the push push. We're adding on the ding dongs and then we're adding on cheerleader kicks. Gonna have hands starting at our shoulders and then going up overhead while we kick one foot at a time. The third interval, by the way, I don't know if you've noticed it, but the third interval is always the hardest exercise. <laughs> That's on purpose because that means that we only have to do it once, but it also means that by the time we're at the top of our little step stools here, that's a, it's a good piece of work. I know you're feeling it. Make sure that you're monitoring what's moderate for you, what feels right for today's moderate. It might mean that you're dropping weights. It might mean that you're moving a little bit slower. It might mean, here we go with ding-dongs. It might mean that you're modifying in some way. You are always welcome to take note of what's going on with you personally and make whatever changes feel best to you. When it beeps again, we're doing those cheerleader kicks. For me personally, thinking about myself as being capable of change, here we go with cheerleader kicks, made all the difference because then, then I didn't have to. If I didn't want to, I didn't have to. There was no pressure to change. It became my decision. I can change. I also can not if I choose not to. Here's 20 seconds of rest. Coming up next, it's our next step stool. I love to sing. I I'm not, even gonna, I'm not even gonna justify that in any manner. I just love to sing when it beeps. We're doing twisting kicks, which means that we're going to twist one way while we kick out to the front. Really good work for your core here. Make sure that you've got your core pulled in. Actually, what I meant to say that it's, it's really good. Everything, everything is good work for your core if you pull your core in. This is exceptionally good work for your abs and obliques, your external muscles. Your core muscles are inside, very deep inside. Wrap around your spine, here's 20 seconds of rest, and you, you have more control over those because you're pulling them in. The external abs and obliques, the ones that you can see, you have to be moving in order to actually make those work, and that's why this particular work is very good for those. When it beeps again, we're doing twisting kicks, and then this time we're adding on bug slappers. So here's our twisting kicks. Bug, bug slappers, I'm gonna have to think about this. We start with our feet together and our hands out, and then as we step out, we're reaching across and down our body as though we are slapping a bug on, let's say your ankle, except that I've never actually been able to reach quite that low. Let's, let's actually just say that you're slapping a bug on your knee. How about that? <laughs> It's much easier to say that I'm gonna slap a bug on my knee than on my ankle. At some point, I might like, especially when I don't have weights in my hands. With weights in my hands, this feels like a little bit more work. Here's 20 seconds of rest. 
at some other juncture, I might like to reach all the way down to my ankle with weights in my hands, that little bit of extra something going on that keeps us right at the edge of moderate. Doesn't always feel like a good idea to reach down quite that far. Okay, when it beeps again, twisting kicks, plus those bug slappers, plus we're adding on, here we go, with the twisting kicks, plus we're adding on papa squats. It is not father squats. <laughs> it's we are popping a squat. It's a teeny tiny squat. It's not even a full squat. You can help yourself to whatever feels best to you. Maybe you're just pushing your butt back behind you a little tiny bit. We get down a little bit low. So here we go with bug slappers. We get down a little bit low and then we pop up and then we put our hands up while we're doing that. Right now these bug slappers, who doggies, thinking about stepping out to the side, that's actually where a lot of the work is. You're changing your center of gravity. You're changing your balance. You're actually moving your entire body. So here we go with Papa Squats. It's a little bit of a squat and then hands go up. Who yes, hands go up, heart rate goes up. I know you feel this. As promised, the third exercise. This one isn't necessarily harder so much as having hands up brings that heart rate up. When it beeps again, of course, we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest. You're doing such a good job, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, we are now officially well over halfway done. <laughs> Coming up next, we're gonna do butter churns. Hands are gonna start facing your body underneath your chin with your elbows up and out. As your hands go up and down in front of you, you're gonna kick one leg out to the side at a time. I like to think about this this, like wild E coyote, <laughs> pushing down on that dynamite, super excited about it. <laughs> My friends, the thing about changing is that change pretty much always feels scary. I mean, I can't even sugarcoat that. Here's 20 seconds of rest with like, oh, sometimes change is okay. Sometimes change is fine. And it's true, there are even changes that we are excited about making and yet, because it's the future, because it's the unknown, our brains simply worry. <laughs> our brains are always trying to find a problem. And trust me, here we go with butter churns. Your brain can always find one because it's looking for it. When it beeps again, by the way, we're adding on low swinging tappers. Hands are gonna swing from side to side. And I call it low just because they're not going over your head. They actually get going up pretty high, but we're gonna tap our feet from side to side doing some Robert Palmer's. <laughs> Or basically what I consider the rest move where I just kind of tap from side to side. This one has a little bit more purpose to it. We're really getting a bigger step to it and really sewing in those hands or not. You can make this workout work for you in whatever way works for you. You know, the thing about, here we go, 20 seconds of rest. The thing about today's helpful thought, it almost doesn't matter what the third word is. Having the power to say I can anything feels like it's under your control, like it's under your direction. When it beeps again, by the way, we're doing butter churns for the second time, or excuse me, the third time. Then we're adding on those low swinging tappers like we did. Then we're adding, oh my gosh, high knee door openers. Okay, let me, let me spend the entire 40 seconds explaining this to you. So here's what door openers look like. It looks like your hands are out to your sides at shoulder height, and you are going to, here we go with low swinging tappers, you are going to pretend as though you are opening a doorknob, one in each hand, by twisting your hands. Doing that, that radial thing that we can do because we have two bones in the bottom part of our arm and we're working our shoulders with that. As we are opening doors, we'll be bringing up one high knee at a time. So swinging those hands at shoulder height, not even swinging, twisting those arms. Oh, do you feel the burn? This isn't even necessarily about cardio work, although it is. We've got our hands up, so heart rate is up, but also this is just toning work. And that's why it was the last part of that step stool. You guys, 20 seconds of rest now. And then on we move to our next step stool. Coming up next, we're gonna do booty kicker elbow swings. Exactly what it sounds like. We're swinging our elbows while kicking our own booty. <laughs> and here we go. The thing about giving yourself the power with that word, I can, it reminds you of a couple of things. It reminds you that you have choices for one thing. Truly, I can means also that I can't or I can not 
if I choose. Here's 20 seconds of rest. And also, for me personally, I like to think about it as I am capable. I can means that I'm capable of doing whatever it is that finishes that sentence, such as, for example, we're adding on half jacks this time, so when it beeps here, we're doing booty kicker elbow swings, and then we are doing half jacks, the right half, and then the left half. <laughs> And we just talked about this. Was that just yesterday or was it the day before where we talked about half jacks? Technically, not really half of a jumping jack. I might have to give that one a different name. You know, we've, we've changed, here we go, half a jumping jack, half a jumping jack, half of a sloppy letter K, half of a sloppy mirror letter K. Except I don't like to call these sloppy Ks because that just sounds very funny. I mean, funny and not necessarily a great way because I don't like to think of anything as being sloppy. We're always doing our best work here. Here's 20 seconds of rest. But we have very successfully changed rainbow jacks into rainbow frogs. So the half jacks, even though they are more like jumping jacks than not, might get a new name one of these days. Okay, anyways, coming up next, we're doing the whole step stool. It's booty kicker, elbow swings, plus half jacks to be named something else perhaps someday, plus wide open side kicks. Another arms out to the side move. My friends, yes, we are doing cardio today. Yes, this is toning <laughs> today. This is the best of both worlds when we have very light dumbbells in our hands. It is strength training. You are building muscles by doing this work. We happen to be building muscles, doing something fun. And we're going to notice it when we feel this little bit of a burn. A wide open side kick means that you're going to have your hands at your chest with your elbows at shoulder height. As you open up your hands, you're going to kick one leg out to the side. And by kick, I really just mean that you're going to raise one leg out to the side. I, I discovered, or I discuss this somewhat frequently. I almost never mean that you're kicking. You're mostly raising, but because there is an arm movement called side raises, I call it a side kick so that you know I'm talking about your legs. <laughs> Here's 20 seconds of rest, you guys. Oh, yes, did you feel that one in your triceps? I sure did. Here is the beginning of our last step stool. We're gonna get started with punch, punch, kick. I'm gonna start with my right hand for you. If you're looking at me, will be your left. You can do this however feels best for you. The hand that I punch with second is the foot that I kick with first. <laughs> Did that make sense at all? <laughs> It kind of does. If you're watching, I'm going back and forth across my body. The second hand that punches is the foot that kicks. The foot that kicks is the first hand that punches. I know, here's 20 seconds of rest. We've got three intervals to figure this out and frankly, it doesn't matter. I like to think about it in a way that makes sense, but it took me years of doing that movement. By the way, when we oops, again, we're doing this punch, punch kicks again and we're adding on skiers this time. I had been doing punch, punch kicks. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna say three years, like I'm pretty sure at least three years before I discovered that I was doing them in a way that was very confusing. By the way, ski ears, hands going up and down in front of your body, feet shuffling back and forth underneath you, just like this, hands going up and down, feet shuffling back and forth. I discovered, I mean, I always knew that I was extremely right-handed. I discovered that that first rep I would go punch with my right hand, punch with my left hand, and then kick with my right foot. Here's 20 seconds of rest. And then, and then I would get into the rhythm of it, and so I would technically speaking, I would then punch with my left hand, punch with my right hand, and then kick with my right foot again. So everybody who was watching was super confused, like, which foot kicks when we're punching? <laughs> Somebody finally asked me about it. Here we go with punch, punch, and kick. And I was like, oh yeah, you know, whichever hand is, is you know, the second punch is the kick and blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, oh, I don't do that. <laughs> you guys, when it beams again, we're doing skiers and then we are adding on sumo bursts, which is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Here we go with skiers. We're gonna be in a sumo squat position, feet nice and wide, knees bent just a little bit. We're gonna come into that little sumo position and then we're going to burst up and out on one side. 
This is meant to be a little tricky. It's meant to be a little bit different. Don't worry if it feels awkward. It's supposed to. It's the third thing. So it's a squat and out. Sumo, burst. Sumo, burst. It's big, it's wide, and it's the last thing we're doing. Almost. <laughs> When we're done with this, we are done. We're not quite finished. We are going to take 20 seconds of rest, and then I have one final thing for us that is not necessarily harder, it is different. We're slowing it way down. We're in fact doing super slow sprinters. I'm gonna start on my left foot. We're gonna start by bringing your elbow to your knee across your body, and then we're gonna extend that bent arm and that bent knee all the way out. We're gonna have one entire interval on one side, and then the other interval on the other side. So out and then extend. Crunch in rather than out and then extend across your body and then same side of your body. One hand crunches, one hand extends. When it beeps again, we're going directly into doing super slow sprinters on the other side, crunching together, extending out. When it beeps again, it is the last time that it's going to beep today, other than me turning off the timer, because that's how that works. <laughs> but it's the last time that the timer actually means something for us changing, other than putting our weights down and cooling down. What a great, great job you did. Put those weights down, 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 turn your timer off, 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 and let's cool this down. Oh my gosh, with some arm circles. How about that, my friends? How about these five days? How about today? How about, how about finding your moderate? How about you can change anything you want? Doesn't that feel amazing? Again, if it doesn't, don't take this on. Don't take this on as a helpful thought. Don't think that it's gonna get you someplace that you wanna go if it doesn't feel good. When it feels good, it's taking you exactly where you wanna go. And be careful with that, because I don't mean feels good like I'm gonna go eat ice cream all day. Because you know what? That doesn't actually feel good. <laughs> Paying attention to how your thoughts feel really is the key, my friends. Oh my gosh. What a good time we have had with this five day series every four weeks. I've got five new videos for us. This was the fifth one here. So now, now you get to repeat these five days or some combination of the other five days or even last year's or anything that you want because you can open it up and close it up. Give yourself a hug and a pat on your sweaty back. What a great job you are doing. You can change. You are capable. You can if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. If it doesn't feel good, you don't have to. My friends, thank you so, so, so much for working out with me. Honestly, no matter what you choose for tomorrow, I have so many choices for you. No matter if you repeat this series again and again, find something else that feels good for you, you can do anything you want. And thank you so much for it. Make sure you subscribe before you go so that you see the next series. And I'll see you tomorrow.